Hey there, I hope you had a great Christmas. 2020 is almost over now, uh, so I wanted to take a bit of time uh, to kind of give an outlook on the next year, to take some time to reflect, and also to think about, in my uh, unique case, to think about how I would like Notion to improve in the coming year. Um, I really, really love uh, Notion as a tool. I use it every day for pretty much any purpose, any organizational or productivity use and um, I love it, but um, there's still some things that are missing and that would make a significant uh, difference in using the software. Uh, so yeah, that's what I wanted to take the time today to, to discuss. And uh, I would really appreciate actually if, um, if you have any uh, other like wishes or uh, improvement suggestions for Notion, please leave them down in the comments below and then we can discuss them. Um, but uh, yeah, let's get right into it. First of all, we have the API and the API has obviously already been uh, announced. I have already signed up for the uh, beta uh, waitlist, but I really am hoping that it's going to be a good uh, API because uh, that's what is going to make the difference here. Um, I hope that there will be uh, lots and lots of integrations uh, in 2021 already and um, that it will be really stable and uh, nice to use. Um, because then I think lots and lots more people will actually be interested in using Notion as their like all-in-one solution. For me, there are actually three different tools that I would really love to see uh, Notion be integrated with. Um, that would first of all be my calendar, so Google Calendar, and then my to-do list, uh, that's uh, Todoist right now. And then also obviously Zapier uh, to be able to actually connect it to pretty much any other tool. These are the, the uh, integrations that I'm hoping for and I will really hope that they will be included in the first version of the API. Now the next thing is the recurring date logic. And um, that's something that I think lots and lots of people have been uh, requesting from Notion uh, to be able to set recurring dates for, for example, for tasks or for events. Um, which would make it much, much easier to uh, be able to plan events in your calendar, um, to uh, implement weekly to-dos in your to-do list application in Notion, and uh, so on. So there's many, many use cases for this, and I don't think that this should be that much of a problem to implement. It's not that big of a feature, but uh, yeah, somehow they still haven't uh, gotten to do this. Uh, so I really hope this will be something that they will introduce in 2021. This would really uh, make me seriously consider to switch from Todoist to Notion completely, because right now I use uh, Notion for, ta for project management, for planning, uh, for writing text, for uh, organizing my life, but I use Todoist still as my to-do list application of choice. And if that feature is implemented by, by Notion, then I would really uh, consider switching to Notion altogether. More flexibilities for formulas is also something that I'm really wishing for um, because I think that with the uh, introduction of the API, Notion formulas will become much, much more important than they are today because uh, now you can use much more uh, dynamic data from uh, different providers in Notion and you can, you can perform calculations and logic um, operations on them. Uh, so I think this will be a great step and will make Notion formulas much more important. But there are a lot of things missing with the Notion formulas in my opinion. So right now I think that Notion formulas are actually too complicated for normal people. Less of, for example, for people that just don't want to be bothered with uh, code and all of these hacky stuff. And on the other hand, for the people that want to work with them, I think that right now they aren't as powerful as they could be because uh, there are a lot of limitations and you can just do these little improvements but you can't really do uh, anything really significant like it's not as um, powerful as for example Excel uh, is. So I'm really hoping for a couple of features. First of all I'm hoping for the ability to use the data from formulas and from tables or uh, databases in general uh, to use that inline. So for example if you have a database that's calculating uh, your sales figures for example um, let, let's pretend even that the API has already been released so uh, you pull uh, this data from for example from St Stripe into your Notion dashboard and then there you perform calculations on it and then with the uh, for example you have uh, your uh, monthly sales and then you can use that sales figure that number that month monthly sales figure and you can just implement that into your text. So uh, let's say you would be writing a report for your company, um, how much revenue you made that month. 
then you could just use um, like a little formula uh, inline to display that number inline and then if the number changes it also changes in the text and um, this would be great to um, be able to uh, yeah, write these documents that kind of adapt automatically you could write them once and then just change up the numbers and then you can um, really automate your, your um, reporting workflow with that. Another really big thing with formulas would be the ability to actually uh, manipulate properties based on formulas. So for example, if a certain thing is true or false in your formula, then change uh, a certain property to a different value. So let's take project management for example. Let's say you have a project and then a formula calculates when you have only seven days left till the due date that you set for the project. And then um, let's pretend that this would then enable the formula to change up the uh, priority level or the status of your project to make it a higher priority because um, you only have a certain amount of time left. The same would also be great for reminders. So if you could set a formula that calculates certain stages in your project, for example, uh, let's take the same example again. Uh, let's say the formula calculates whenever you have less than seven days left for the project to finish. And then the formula could be able to uh, set off a reminder like at seven days, uh, at the seven days mark, um, so that you know that this is a project that you have to put work in now uh, because it's about to be uh, finished and the deadline is about to happen. Next, let's talk about the databases themselves. One thing that has bothered me a bit in Notion is that you can't really set access levels for databases. Uh, so you can't have a database uh, that has a lot of data in it and you can't have two people who have different rights and can only see a certain part of the database. Um, so for example, let's pretend you are you have a, a social media marketing agency and you plan out your content for all of your clients in Notion. And you could have, if that was possible, you could have a big calendar, a social media posting calendar, which has all of the posts of all of your different clients in it. And then the clients could only be able to access their own uh, content and they wouldn't be able to see all the content from all the other clients um, because that would just be a huge mess. But right now that's not possible. You can, can't really um, kind of restrict the uh, things that people see in a database. And um, yeah, that's, that's a bummer because I think that will be useful for many, many people in many different cases as well. Something that's uh, particularly interesting to me, but um, yeah, I don't know, maybe you guys tell me in the comments um, if that would be interesting to you as well. Um, I'd really love to have a um, kind of location property, location property, and also um, coherent with that a maps view. So. The idea is that I would be able to add a location to a database entry as a property and then I would have a maps view that would actually display all of these different entries based on the location that I set them. So pretty much like Google Maps um, but in Notion. And what I would use this for is my uh, restaurants and cafes uh, database. So if I would be able to actually map these out on, a, on a, an actual map but uh, yeah obviously uh, post COVID-19, but uh, whenever that's that's over, um, if I'm in the city and I have, uh, can, can, I can just pull up my maps view uh, in Notion with all of my database entries of cafes and restaurants in the area, um, that would be a huge improvement and uh, that would be really great uh, for me at least. And um, yeah, I'd really love to know if, if you would be interested in something like this as well. And lastly, something that um, is important to me, but that um, yeah, probably many native speaking English people uh, don't even uh, realize often, um, the localization of Notion is still pretty bad. So there's only English and Korean. I mean, I can speak English fluently, but there's lots and lots of people um, and lots and lots of companies that wouldn't be uh, using a software if there wasn't a German version or a localized version. It doesn't matter what country you're in. And that's a huge loss in potential because there's so many people that would actually hugely benefit from Notion. Um, so I would really love to, to see that in 2021. Uh, I'd love to see that there were uh, more languages available. Uh, I think that the Notion team is actually working on this. So uh, they roll out Korean this year. I think they um, are just trying to get the process down of uh, localizing a, their tool to a language and then they will expand to other languages. So I hope um, there will be a couple more added in 2021. 
yeah, that was pretty much it. Uh, please let me know in the comments if there's anything that you would like Notion to improve on. What kind of features and database views and um, yeah, other things would you like to see implemented in Notion in 2021? I mean, I can't influence it, but um, it would be just nice to kind of discuss on uh, discuss about that and um, see what uh, all of the ideas are because I think that I uh, definitely missed or I'm, I'm sure that I missed something important. Um, so yeah, let me know. Um, if you liked the video, leave a like and uh, subscribe to the channel uh, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!